I have a whole list of hypo- hypothetical questions. Oh, uh, sometimes your hypothetical questions are pretty hypothetical, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't like them. Yeah, wow. they're 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 almost hypothetical. It's like I mean, well, the, what, the suitcase with the money, totally legit. I want to get your guys's opinion on the Polly Shore, my apartment podcast. It's wonderful. I, it seems uh, like a. I kind of like the video format, right? It's, it's like a reality it's TV different. show. Yes, like Big Brother. Yeah, exactly. That's, he says that in an episode, Big Brother, Big Wheeze. So for those that don't know what we're talking about, because I just found this today, apparently Pauly Shore, the Wheeze, Wheeze had a podcast or has been doing a podcast for a while, but he's changed it to a video slash podcast and not just one video camera in a single room with a single shot. He has multiple cameras mounted around his apartment. And he has a producer that live switches them while he's ranting. So he does a podcast. He's like walking around his ADHD superhero. And the producer just switches the camera whenever he leaves the room. Yeah, it's brilliant. The format is brilliant because I've said this before. There are a couple people that I would probably throw down some money to just watch them like their day to day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So oh, like I'm, a twenty-five I'm, to thirty-minute rant. He calls it like the rant, wherever the hell he is, like a multiplex. Oh, no, so it's not all day. No, it's like man, how much is he paying a guy to watch him live life? <laughs> No, it's like a 28, 25 to 20, 28 to 30 minute episode. I thought originally they were editing it, but I watched another one and the guy is like live switching the cameras as he walks room to room. But his apartment is a freaking mess. Well, yeah, <laughs> it looks like he's squatting in someone else's apartment. It's that bad. <clears throat> and they but bought all their furniture from like the high end part of Amazon. <laughs> yeah. But the format is uh, to me alluring i think it's it's something i agree i i i I dig the format as much as i well i like people that are characters of themselves like he's almost a caricature of himself like can you keep that up all the time like i wonder if like when the cameras are off he's just like wow that was that was crazy i'm tired you know and then it's like oh weasel yeah i don't know hey buddy he has a New England accent. Yeah. I mean, kid grew up in, you know, uh comedy club, so. He was looking kind of rough. He's 51. Uh, yeah, he's, he's you know. 51 is not the, that bad. Been through the ringer a couple times. Don't think he was taking very good care of himself for a while. True. Yeah. I mean, I saw him on the Joe Rogan podcast, and my opinion of him at that time was he was just being a whiny bitch. Oh, no, I heard the same one. No crap, man. So then when I saw this other footage, I was like, he's not being a whiny bitch. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of being, you know, uh, he, he's definitely putting on a show and he's kind of, you know, putting on the character and being a little flamboyant, like smooching the wheeze. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look up his channel. I want to see how many views he has. He's at like 15,000 subs. <clears throat> I just thought it was a pretty good format. I like the concept. I'm just not the biggest fan of him, so yeah, I have a hard time. Yeah, have yeah. You ever yeah. seen the movie Son in Law? Uh, Son in Law's good, man. It's a good movie. Middle America. Ow. Ow, ow. <laughs> We's in the Jews. I always like to hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can feel better about my YouTube channel for once, so I'm sure it's gonna go viral. I bet it will. So who who would you want to uh, have this set up? What? If you had your choice, who would you watch? Who would you listen to like this? What do you mean? So like Polly Shore has his YouTube channel, and then uh, Clint Eastwood goes, you know what? Uh, I want one, oh. too. Uh, Maynard from Tool. Oh. I'd listen, to, I'd listen to Maynard put on a puppet show. I'd be like, yeah. up front, and I'd be like, wow, this is a kick-ass puppet show, Maynard. Thank you. 
It's probably a pretty good one. Yeah. Um, there's Neil, Neil, that, Neil Tyson DeGrasse. He'd there's someone, there's someone I'm missing right now. Eloy? I'd like to see an Eloy. I would love to just speak to him for a minute. Uh, just some, If we could figure out a way to schedule a meeting with him. With Eloy? <laughs> yeah, like if we could hang out once a week. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. He seems like a pretty busy guy. He is. Chowder and such. You know, he was working on that dangle logo out of some two by four. Oh, here's a good one. Rollins. Henry Rollins? Yeah. Hmm. I'd listen to him talk. He's another guy. He's on the puppet show list. I call it the puppet show list. The people that I would watch put on a puppet show. Like it wouldn't matter what the content is. I would just be like, Yeah, I'm ready. Trump, just for the hell of it. Entertainment. Just, hell yeah. Just watch them watch their sucking down the diet cokes. Oh yeah. Deep fried pies. Mm. And yeah. then of course the Craig cast. I need the Craig cast. Craig cast. You should you should put that you should have that now. Craig Ovision. Talking about my, my old man Craig? Yeah. Well actually <clears throat> I'm taking the trolls on my YouTube channel and I'm having my dad kind of doing like the mean tweets. Oh, he's gonna read them? He's gonna read them and respond to them. <laughs> so Yeah, he should just have his own camera. You know those cameras that you see commercials for that don't really exist where it's like a drone that flies like four feet from you at all times? Yeah. When they actually like, get that technology down, just Craig Vision. <laughs> Craig Cam. I like that we're trying to turn your old man into a cam girl. That's terrible. <laughs> and then we'll charge subscription money to watch him. Hey, man, I don't care. Money's money. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Dance monkey. Thirty bucks for Craig. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's experience. I wonder what people that have like a live podcast deal do right then when they want to drink. Like (laughs) they balance between the other hosts, which we're not doing. No, well, we haven't figured that out yet. I haven't for sure. Like there there's some sort of timing that we're supposed to have that maybe if we were in the same room and we could kind of like visual cue it like a band, like Give each other like the eyes, like, hey, dude. But I think it's real hard when we're just little Brady Bunch windows. <laughs> <sighs> we're going to have a lot of silence to go to this one, Doc. Good it, luck so- editing this. F- dude, the software does it for us, but you don't need to be swearing, man. Come on. <laughs> so, Rory, he got here just in time, huh? Man, <clears throat> today we had to go talk to the tax lady. So I was going to be late, and I'm hustling and bustling through uh, Littleton. And, uh, yeah, go meet the tax lady. Then Amanda's like, I'm making rings, and I need a a, a ring mandrel. I'm like, ah, we got 45 minutes. We got to get back. So we ended up stopping at Michael's. They didn't have it. Then we stopped at Hobby Lobby. They had it. And then, yeah, you know, knocked over some old ladies and, did the classic jumped over the hood and slide across made it just in time. Remember that uh, Hertz commercial with OJ in the airport <laughs> back in the day where it was just him running back before like, he was OJ, the murderer back when he was still the juice. Yeah. That's what I thought of when you were talking about like running here at that. There was that one scene where he like jumped over the suitcases and it was like slow motion from the side. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, six billion dollar man. No, 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 no. Well, we're glad that you hustled and we're glad to have you here on the show. We're glad that people like to show up. <laughs> totally. All so right. I know a uh a, a woman who is into the ghost investigations that we could probably get her as a guest. Okay. Okay. Wanna give us some context here, pal? Um, she has a, a large background in doing this and experiences and tools similar to like the, the ghost box that I have. And, um, if we do it though, I have a lot of respect for her. She had a double hip surgery and had some problems along the way. So we're, not, a- we're, we're not asking her to foot raise the ghosts. <laughs> no. Uh, just being respectful to her is my concern. Oh, 
like we can we can cross that boundary, but we'd have to do it in a polite way. I, yeah, I usually mind my P's and Q's. I, I'm for it. Let's do it. But like, I, 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 I'll have a hard time being like, Are, you're not afraid of no ghost, right? Like, the, there will be some questions I have to get out of the way. I have, I have questions as well. When you eat the big yellow dot and the ghosts turn blue, are they faster? Or how does that work? <laughs> you guys are being very insensitive right now. To the ghosts or to Pac-Man? To both. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally into this. What's the ghost box that you have? I have a couple of them. There is a... Oh, a collection. I didn't realize it was a collection. Oh, yeah. You've been holding out on us, guy. There, there was this... Okay, so we we have had the familiar experience with the Ouija board and Yeah, fake. <laughs> and those that believe in it and those that don't. And then uh, you know, the tarot cards. Yep. Scam. Scam. And where was we we were at a, a restaurant and they had a special going on for Halloween saying there was gonna be a ghost investigation that you could be part of. So you get there late at night. And you would have dinner, and then that's when the team would show up. And this is where I met that woman. She's she's the one that runs it. And they show you what they have captured over the years at, there at the restaurant. And you hang out in a group of people, maybe about eight people, and you go to so-and-so hot spots in the restaurant, going to the bathroom, going upstairs, and then downstairs. And this, this uh, building had... I forget the exact history of it. It was one of the original ones in the area. So it's like from the, the 1800s. You know, it was like five different things before it was a restaurant. So supposedly certain characters haunt this place. And the first one we went to, they had their paranormal equipment, which was like the ghost box, which is uh, this this box that goes through the FM station's Real fast, real slow, but not once, but there are three different rates happening. So it's just not one linear scan. It's, there's three of them. And supposedly you can hear responses in that. Take it or leave it. So there's three different separate scans happening? It's going through all the stations. One Because I've, seen, I've seen a scan box that does a linear scan. Mm-hmm. And I've seen a scan box that supposedly does a random scan. Okay. But you're saying it does three separate linears? The the model that I'm they were using that I, I got is uh does that three okay. separate layers. And supposedly suppose supposedly supposedly the spirits use the voices cataloged on FM frequencies to speak. So they like will jump through radio broadcasts and and basically queue up the words, right? Yes. Okay. So or they're like can, they're like searching they're searching through the hear them. Yeah. So the spear it... the spears are queuing through the radio spectrum and pulling out words like dragon software. Yeah. Yep. Does it sound like Bumblebee from Transformers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um in my experiences, you can. It sounds like a person. Sometimes they sound f- far away, a little echoey. Sometimes it's up close and dark. Mm. And when you have eight other people with you and they hear the same thing you do when you hear it, it kind of it, it sells it. Right. So it's not just your own trip; it's everybody's trip. Yeah. <clears throat> I could so, see that being more the first, powerful. The first year we did it, we had a great time. And the second year we did it, people had brought their own gear, which kind of introduced like that concept. You could bring your own equipment, which I was surprised. There's like some like the iPhone apps, the, the free ones. We use those and they're just fun. But um, I had won a contest <clears throat> and they gave me this free... Uh, EMF detector. So it's supposed to sense electromagnetic fields. And it goes off. It beeps. has a red light on it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. 
and we are eating dinner with one of the teammates that are there. And this guy has, he has, he's like the, the ghost nerd who has a lot of money and he whipping out thousand dollar, $3,000 pieces of equipment and waggling his better part about how badass he is. So we're hanging out in one of these rooms and his $300 EMF detector is right next to my free $10 one that is like the cheap model. And it would go off the same time that his expensive one did. So every time that thing would go off next to his, I would just rub it into his face. By the end of it, he wasn't hanging out on whatever side I was on the group. He was on the other side, just avoiding conversation, avoiding talking. Man, why you gotta why you gotta burst his bubble? That was like that was his day. <laughs> he you was so pompous it. about it. It's like he doesn't oh, have a power hammer. <laughs> That's his power hammer. You have to let him have come on, man. Don't march his mellow. That's all he had. That's all he had. He was, he went he was home, waiting all he year for that. Home, yeah. He went home and cried. Oh. I'm ter- I'm a like, terrible person. He went home and hit his inhaler and cried into his pillow. It was like, this is put in his retainer. You know, yeah. only, only if there was a, a Cuban here to tell me, actually, that was a good thing I did that to him. Where would we get one of those? I don't know. Craigslist. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Wands list. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a single white Cuban. Well, why is it going to be white? white Cuban? <laughs> well, can you have a, are there black Cubans? Just say yeah, single yeah. Cuban. Come on, guy. <laughs> I Yeah, I know I know a couple Cuban people, and they'll say black Cuban, which I guess is like just a black guy from Cuba. I don't know if they're referring why to not? skin tone. Yeah, but, you know, I don't, I don't know for well, sure, but I know that. I am, I'm so. like an Irish Native American then. Yeah, uh, I used to work with a, <clears throat> and he's since passed, unfortunately, uh, a guy that defected when he was like 20 and had lived in the country the whole time. But, you know, he would say things like that. He came right from Florida, moved or from, yeah, came into Miami and went to a uh, city. He was living in New York and he was living within his own like population. So, he really didn't learn English all that well. So it was weird. I was like, how long have you been in this country? He's like a long time. I was like, then why is your English so terrible? He's like, I never spoke English. He's like, you know, I stayed in a spot where I spoke Cuban Spanish because he didn't even understand like other people's Spanish. Wow. You know, someone would be talking about like, Philippe, what did he say? Like, I have no clue. I'm like, what? He's like, I don't understand that Spanish. Oh, Okay. And he would talk like that. So I uh, had built for a guy that did some paranormal investigating. I built a um, Jacob's ladder for him that he was using on his investigations to introduce energy into the room. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is a semi-legitimate guy, I think, or legitimate within the field. I, I didn't mean to discredit him by saying that when I said semi-legitimate, I don't, I see the flyers that he's on and they look, they look correct. So what you built, did it work? Oh yeah. It works great. Said he still uses it every once in a while. I ask him, I was like, how's that working? He says, fine. You offer a, a warranty service with that at all? Free repairs. What <laughs> <laughs> about installation? Yep. It, it, it's in a box. You got to plug it in yourself. Ah, exorcisms. Uh, yeah. Keys made while you wait. I do it all. Yeah. He said it worked all right. And then he was asking me to do some other stuff. And uh, I like had build a gateway to hell. No, he wanted a Van de Graaff generator. A what? A Van de Graaff generator. Uh, if you ever seen like the the big stainless steel ball at like a uh, science center, and you can put your hands on it. Oh, Tesla, the, the Faraday cage. Yeah, that's that's what that is. Like you know, you put your hands on it. It's basically it's a motor at the bottom, and it runs a belt, 
and inside there's like a brush that runs on that belt and that brush picks up static electricity and then imparts that static electricity into the dome at the top of it. Cool. You can make one. I can make one. Nice. Yeah. And then, then he got into like scalar wave generators and I was like, all right, you need like an electronics guy now. I was like, we, we far exceeded my meager fabricating skills. <laughs> Although I'll tell you what, the first time that Jacob's ladder lit up and went up, I was, I, that was, that was a touchdown moment. I was like, Oh, look at, look at that. Look at it go. That's cool. And then I, you know, played with it a little bit. I scuffed up the electrodes and, you know, got it just so. It was pretty neat. Yeah. And then there was the moment where I had to touch it to know what would happen to somebody if they touched it because it's leaving my shop. Like, you know what I mean? I have to know. Is that when you went bald? Yeah, and then, and then, all, <laughs> and then all my hair fell out. <laughs> so what oh. happened? Was, so what happened was I just turned that hole in the shop into a window, and we don't talk <laughs> about it. <laughs> Damn, that was brutal. I didn't say it. You get bumped in because bales. Oh, I can't do it. I was going to try to go there. I can't do it. You guys, you see, this is what bales does. Yeah. Here, wait. Every time. I tried bales. Don't just don't bales, 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 bales. Just stop. Just stop bales, bales. I'm talking. That's pretty good. Yeah, he just beat you down. <laughs> Isn't it awful? You miss him. No way, I do. Yep, you miss him. It's, it's not as much fun without him. Y- yeah, you don't. You don't realize the bread doesn't taste as good until the Cubans missing. <laughs> yeah, this sandwich is terrible without the pickles. <laughs> Pickles. He is a pickle. Mm-hmm. Freaking pickle. He's tart. So Bales, how's the diet going? In 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 getting ready for Egypt? Are you? Like, it's awful. Go- so I've this week I'm trying the. You're gonna laugh. You might not audibly laugh, but the potato diet. Have you, ever, have you heard of the potato diet? Yeah, you're you're just eating potatoes. Yep. How's that going? So you cook the potatoes. I chose to roast them. Some yep. people boil them and you let them cool back down, which apparently the cooling cycle somehow neutralizes them. So they don't spike your blood sugar with the starches. I'm not sure how that happens. So you eat potatoes only, or if you want to scale it back a bit, you just eat like breakfast, lunch potatoes, and then a sensible dinner and you can lose up to half a pound a day on the potato diet and the reason why is you're not adding toppings for one so no ketchup sour cream cheese all that crap salt pepper is acceptable but you're going to start bottoming bottoming out because you're eating the same thing so your palate's going to get numb so you're only going to eat enough to satiate the hunger, which happens quick. Within the first day, it happens. So I cooked up like I bought three different species, or I don't know. So, so what does a potato breakfast look like? Potato. Just potatoes, just potatoes. We should have like, talked about like, Sarah. So I bought you, I, I bought frying? three I bought three bags of different potatoes, cut them up into bite size things roasted them in the oven all together a little bit of salt pepper that's it took them to work and i would microwave microwave a plate eat it drink some black coffee Uh, lunch comes around eat some more potatoes but you would eat less because you're not getting that mouth feel you're not getting that oh the hell this is delicious well so you're only eating enough to satiate the hunger so immediately your calorie intake drops yeah plus potatoes mostly water so since we're like starving for nutrients is like you're getting the shakes you're getting a headache no i haven't wow so i'm down a few pounds (laughs) i was like potato pancakes i think that's a thing yeah, no, no. The potato diet is just potatoes. Yeah. Well, whatever works for you, man. I don't know. 
I'm just trying to switch it up because I need to see some progress. What were you doing that wasn't working? I was just drinking well, beers. I, I hate. Well, no, I haven't been drinking beers. I know I'm making a joke, but I hate exercise, and it's been too cold to ride the BMX. I just, I I need to see some progress quick to like motivate myself. You know. Yeah, I got you. Because you you want to get ripped for Egypt, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So for, bales. <laughs> so for Egypt, I've I bought a book. All right, the Giza Power Plant book. I got a nice canvas, thirteen inch satchel. Yes. Da, 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 da. I'm uh, deciding on a nice little uh, sun shading hat. Da, da, da. By the way, the satchel has like internal pockets that are not easy to pickpocket. That's the whole reason. Yeah. So people sure. like, why not just take a backpack? Because a backpack is easy to pickpocket, and pickpocketing apparently is a thing over there. Oh yeah. What if you wear it on your chest? Is that cool? <laughs> I'm not doing that. And I'm not wearing a fanny pack. Ooh, fanny pack. Scratch <laughs> fanny pack. If we make a scratch fanny pack, you have to take it. I bet fanny packs are the thing. And... I don't want to scratch fanny pack because it'll probably be Sarah will design it to look like a hairy pussy. And I don't want it. No, 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 no. This would just be a fanny pack that says scratched on it. You lie. Now, you know how much we would have to pay for the for the hairy vag? Yeah, what? it'd be the Sarah, the war tooth. Oh, damn it. The FUPA pack. And I don't want it. FUPA. What time did we start recording? Damn, 35 minutes. <laughs> Well, we have to we have to edit out FUPA? No, I said that I dropped an F bomb in there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sarah from War Tooth Designs will design a hairy FUPA pack. I'm not saying and she I won't am not, it. I am not taking that to Egypt. I'm just saying I'm not saying she won't design it. I'm saying that we can't afford to manifest that. <laughs> we can't afford to get our name embroidered on an existing fanny pack that's probably about what we can get. That's probably what we'll be able to turn over from now until Egypt. I don't think there's a lot of custom fanny packers out there. Frank Epilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilepilep
the water's cold, but you can you're you're closer to Earth, your home. It's this is our home. This is uh, our home. Space I'm, is. I'm a citizen of the universe. Man, I wish I would have gotten here earlier because I ha- I had some good stuff for you guys, but write it down. Do this you, wouldn't have, you wouldn't have been able to handle it anyhow because it's heavy stuff. It's heavy stuff. Heavy. Yeah, like stuff that you probably haven't come across before. But I'm sorry. Did you but, did did you eat something that made you tired, buddy? A bad chowder. <laughs> no, I I I I did it. I I just. Are you on the potato diet? Oh yeah. Are you on the potato I don't know. diet? I can't answer any of those questions. You know, I can't. I can't do. I can't do that th- this evening. Like you, because I'm not awake right now. I know that's why it's fun to poke at you. Um, but I haven't been drinking soda anymore either. I know we we both been talking about that. Trying. Yeah. To- I've not drunk drunk the soda maybe one time like a week ago, but I haven't bought soda. Yeah. You guys got any withdrawals, like headaches or anything? No, because other people are buying it for him. Oh, <laughs> other a, people are buying. That's it. a loophole. Hey, he but, said he he hey, said he hasn't bought any soda. He didn't say he didn't drink any soda. I haven't drunk any soda, <laughs> except one time that I purchased the Miami uh, Miami sub uh, Jimmy John's, and I told them a large soda with no ice. But that was one day. They gave you like three liters. <laughs> and like yeah cool. in like two in like two weeks or so it's been like two weeks or more actually that i i since the day that doc said a little bit of a at a time i don't know he said something i i decided to go and not buy soda yeah well that's that's a great first step yeah great but my my my, my milkshakes are like this big yeah well i was just gonna mention that i have i pretty much completely cut out sugar uh, dribs and drabs. Here. It's not that I can't; it's just that I really don't want to. Mm-hmm. But uh, we went and like to our favorite burger stand or whatever. And I didn't really, I didn't get what I normally get there. But when dinner was over, I went and I was getting the kids ice cream, and I was like, "Man, I'm gonna get myself one of these little kids milkshakes." It wasn't very big; it was the kids milkshake. I got home, man, and I couldn't even keep my eyes open. It was like nine thirty at night, and it was like just I was about to pass out. Yeah, yeah, I. It was bad. Like I, I felt it right away. I was like, I just need to lay down for a little bit. So- I was joking earlier about you know, not about because Rory was going to come in late or something. I was actually fooling around with you, but it just so happens that you better be careful when you joke because it might very well come and bite you in the uh, ass and which it has. I, I didn't mean it. I do. Well, actually I didn't mean to fall asleep, but I didn't mean to fall asleep this long. I'm sorry, guys. I, I really, I, I feel sh- ashamed. I, I do feel ashamed. I enjoy coming, but Bales fired me. Yeah. yeah. To work next Thursday, and it's not so well. <laughs> it's not so much that he fired me, but that he's angry at me. Oh, uh, tell him, forgive him. <laughs> Make up live here on the air. Come on, bear it. I love, I love the Eloy. There you go. Ah, okay, that that makes me feel warm <laughs> and right. fuzzy. R- Rory, one more. Hit hypothetical us. question. But one more hypothetical, not hypothetical. Hyper, Hyper. Ooh, hyper. Hypothetical. All right, this one's deep. This one, this one, we'll start with Eloy. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> the angel of death has descended upon you, Eloy. Oh, great. Are you telling me you're going to tell me this? I just woke up. My brain is still trying to. <laughs> All right, Eloy, I'll go first. All right, Doc goes first. <clears throat> Look at what you're throwing at me. I just literally, when your brain is trying to get awoke and and you're and you're throwing angels of death and water underwater. You can cheat off of my paper. I'll go first. All right. The angel of death has descended upon you, Doc. Fortunately, the angel of death is pretty cool and in a good mood, and it offers you a half an hour to do whatever you want before you bite it. What are you going to do with that half hour? Uh, I'd hang out with the kids. He's going to make you bite it? That's <laughs> slang. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, I'd hang out with the kids for a half hour. 
play trains. Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. we specify? Does this mean he's going to kill us, or just made us make us chew on his wiener? Because <laughs> Eli, Eli brings a good point. Yeah, he, he said you have an hour. What was it? An hour before you have to bite it, or before you bite it? Yeah. <laughs> Is he going to be like, "Yeah, you're not dying. I just wanted you to chew on my wiener." <laughs> Third guy today. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is this is like full and true about, death. Yeah, I didn't think about any like real biting. Scenario. Yeah, is this is this death or devil oral? All right, and then, here? they they say, "What would you do with a half an hour to live? Would your decision end up being your demise?" Okay, so we're gonna die. Okay. Okay. So no padding. <laughs> no. <laughs> no lap. Lap lapping and okay. Zip. So a half hour. Uh, will and, he give you, and will Doc's he give gonna spend choice? it with his Doc's spending it yeah, with his kid. Like I said it's it's a horrible cop out, but if it wasn't that, I don't know, maybe I try to rob a bank and give it all to like my family so they had money. <laughs> <laughs> After I, I don't know. Here before I bite this thing's dick, here's a bunch of money. Yeah. Dude, he'll never believe it. What? Well, the angel of death showed up, and he's gonna give me a bunch of money to bite his wiener off. So I thought we said there was no dick biting; it was just death. Right, but it's hypothetical and it's a funny joke. So we're gonna keep it going. What if? What if? What if he he told you? What if he told you? Because you know how they can you, whatever is the weirdest, hard, most horrible way to go that your brain can can think of. He can come up with, like he can actually produce. So if he said whatever you think of right now, as far as that, that is what you shall, you know, that that that's the death that will occur to you. Your mind can go. That's like in and- Ghostbusters. Choose your destroyer. And then, and then the State Puff Marshmallow Man shows up. But I'm sorry. So you would, what was it that you said? That you would give the money. To, to your family and no, I hang out with the kids if I had a half hour left. If I have a half hour left in the day, I try to hang out with the kids. Like I said, it's an awful cop out, but you know, it's not a bad it, cop out. It, well, it's one day they might listen to this and I would hate to be an asshole. I'd be like, well, what I would really like to do is play with my toys for one more half of an hour. I don't think it matters at that point. I mean, it matters worth a half hour. It. I don't think. It matters. I would do anything to try not to have a half an hour long panic attack <laughs> that I'm going to die. So I don't know, but that just opened up my bowels. Oh, wow. Delicious. I thought of it. Well, I don't know if it was that or the coffee that I just drank. Probably how you're going to die. Just drink coffee at 10 p.m. I, I'm telling you, you, you guys said, oh, come on, come on, come on. They'll. Oh. My fault that you drink coffee at 10 p.m. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the answers for you guys this evening. Like, I usually do. You know, I usually have all the answers figured out. I don't have them right now. Answer, man. All I know is that that, that one devil creature is orally fixated. Oh, that succubus? In reverse. Yeah. All right. Have you ever see VHS? Oh. VHS. I've not seen that one, no. Oh, you gotta watch that one. I don't I don't wanna see that. Then you'll understand the uh I like you. Is it good? Because I see it, but but VHS is from back in, in the nineties and eighties and so on. <clears throat> so it's not No, VHS, this one is two thousand and eight. I don't see anything creepy about other than this what was remember the little Chinese lady that jumps out of the T V? If you play the videotape, this point. Oh, the ring, yeah, that was creepy. Yeah, VHS 2012. You should watch it. It's good. All it's right, better well, than Two Girls One Cup. Totally. No, that no. was ice cream. <laughs> was it? That was well. It was chocolate ice cream. <laughs> I think. I think I All saw right, some so, porn in there. Yeah. So you got a half an hour left. <laughs> It was you're wrong to watch two girls on cup. Is that, is that what you're gonna do with it, Eli? Yeah. With your half hour? No, no. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. So look, with a half would hour, take, would would you take like we go for a walk, go get some chowder, and watch the sunset? Have you ever? Have you ever? 
have you ever um so you're going from totally alive to totally dead that's usually how death works no no that's actually not how see that's one of those things oh, I have... stop this this is where this is why this is the filibuster bullshit that I'm going to call you on that's not the question at hand and you know it that is no, but, not what we're asking, and you're splitting hairs about how the question was asked. And that no, that's a very you important. You should run for mayor of Sweetwater with your bullshit politic and <laughs> talking in a circle. No, answer but that's the question, how... Mister Escajedo. Answer the question. You have a half hour before your brain activity ceases, <laughs> sir, sir. You can't handle you. the thirty minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm answering it the way I would answer it, and and you don't half just an hour me. answering the question and. Then it, it, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't you don't go yeah you're you're running out the clock. No, you know how I'd spend it? Watching the dirt, drinking a whole thing of whiskey, the man and, and, Jack and, Daniels. and snorting and snorting cocaine off of a hooker's ass crack. Rattlesnake shake. And she and and, and and she hasn't showered in years. No dude. Oh. <laughs> With a picture of Bale stapled to her back. Oh, okay. You got me. You wearing you, lo- you wear- lost me for a second, but now I'm back. We're wearing a wearing a wearing wearing a a a dog. Um, boy, I forget his name. Murdoch Murdoch shirt. Um, and 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 screaming Rory out loud. <laughs> it's gonna all be a great things, cover image. All all those things combined. So Wait. keep that in mind. Um, sniffing crack, screw it. It's not even. It's not even the powder. It's crack. Rock, sniffing crack rocks off of a hooker's ass with 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 Bales's photo stapled to her back, wearing Murdoch from from Doc Jared Hildebrand and screaming out loud like some sort of epic movie. Rory, that will be it. Are you running a fever? You wanted an answer. There you go. Are you running a fever? Maybe you should have some water. <laughs> I think you might have fallen asleep because you might be sick. You might be still running a fever. Covered in baby oil. Yeah. I, is that what is that what's going on? With there? a flaming trough all around. Oh, and I want to. And Ryan sitting in a chair with a light bulb oh. swinging above his head. Now you got Ryan involved. With, with Ryan sitting in a chair with a light bulb swinging above his head, holding one of his projects. That's that's pretty screwed up, fella. And the maker community sitting on stands or bleachers in the back. All with, of them. With Bobby Duke carving something. B. Duke in the house. Bail. I got a question for you, Eli. I'm pretty sure he could answer. Wearing Donald Trump's toupee. Jesus Christ. You think that's fake? No, but in this case, since I get the last Yeah, I think it's like one patch of hair where it's coming out good and strong, and he just does a nice job of... You think it's a comb-over? That's beyond comb-over, because at one point it doubles back, so that's a comb-over and back. Mm. You know what? Screw it. Remove that that Bale's thing stapled to, to her back. By the way, this is the most horrible scene ever. Bale's playing drums on an electric kit out of time. On purpose. <laughs> Jesus, you you want to die a horrible death? While every while, while there's a chalkboard, and people are screeching their fingernails across the chalkboard at the same time, and everybody in the crowd is drinking milk. But you know what we mean. How's that? Are you, is that what you wanted? You wanted to draw that out of me. You got it. There you go. How are you going to fix that? Set it out. So Eloy, or no? So Bales, <laughs> got a half an hour. If recovery is not an issue, I'm gonna have sex with the hottest thirty women I can find. You couldn't keep it up for thirty one. How are you gonna hook that up with no talking? You just gonna just be like, hey. Yep. He's just Slot. a serial just, rapist. Yep. Just give him the give him the little raised eyebrow, left eyebrow. What's up? And they'll be like, give them the people's eyebrow. Yep. The people's eyebrow. Hey, baby. Yep. And then a minute on each. Yeah, Boom. How, no how, recovery. I'm good. How you doing? <laughs> yep. I would sit down and read volume one of Lord of the Rings. Page one. 
Uh, just page one. Yeah. <laughs> I would get to like one and a half. And then off in Middle Earth, there was a band of humans. I have a hard time reading. Angel of Death is helping you read. Yeah. Okay. Conjugate the verb. It's okay. It's okay. Can you sound that out for me? Yeah. It's really bad. Like, obviously, well, not obviously, but I can read. But, like, when it comes to, like, reading out loud, even storybooks to my kids, I still struggle. I've always struggled with that. Reading audibly, it's hard. So, Rory, you got a half an hour. I would probably just get stoned. None of you would confess your sins and and plead with with the creator of the universe and 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 and, and, and you know, because that's a big deal. Nope. Well, but what if you could? What could you negotiate? No, your soul. If, if well, yeah. I mean, it's have already been guys, determined, right? Have you guys not? done any christian like um activities ever like it's there a home fries fries? i've got i've got i've got a black belt in roman catholicism hardcore like i said i gave it up for good behavior and time served bud no no but that's that's yeah well i don't know you know okay have you ever seen well you know what have you ever seen like um in the old west where people sort of like get shot and they'll drop and they'll say like, screw it. And then they, and they die or something like that, you know, stuff like that. Like this whole bold thing. Um, A lot of people actually confess to the creator of the universe, believe it or not. And a lot of people that are complete atheists end up doing that too, because term, because the finality of, of that, is that's why I said that it doesn't happen from most. Mostly, it doesn't happen from complete. It's a process where you start sinking. You know, that's the actual process. I've of course seen this various times, and will tell you that there's a reality to it. Not to take, not to suck the, uh, not to suck you best the the air out of the room. But there's more to it than I mean. It's a serious um, question. You like that word now, don't you? No. You do. You like saying succubus. It's okay. Weasel. I, mean, I think that's why. <laughs> your buddy. Buddy. Middle America. Ow. I think that's why Bales is going to Luxor. Luxor. <laughs> What's in Luxor? The chocolate or is it the diamonds? Like, you know, over there. He's going to search for the unknown. And it's embedded in the human existence. And there's no way that n- un- any of us, unless we're completely, I don't know. I don't think so. I think that all of us, there is something inside that says there's got to be something more. Or what if there's something more? There's got to be that question. I don't know. All the life, the life threatening things I've experienced, I've never had a moment of thinking about God or making right of things. I try, um, to, live, I try to live with my decisions at peace with the universe. Yeah, um, but I'm just saying there's there's at, at least so I I in, in instinctively so I don't know I I don't want to get into that but I I so I don't know anything as far as what nobody knows but you're asking a thirty minute thing and I'm just saying that it's a big question because existence as as you know it you didn't answer the question. And now uh, the angel would have just given up and left. Trolley dodging. So maybe that's the answer. If you're difficult, a buster. If you're difficult, they'll walk away. He's like, I don't have time for this. Yeah, here's Bales' address. <sighs> Make sure to turn left. <laughs> he'll be like, <laughs> he'll be like I wonder what Wilkie's up to. Be like, look, look through his phone. Well, you know, you know, pack. That was unfair for Wilkie to take shrapnel. I just thought that was the funniest. Whatever. It, it it wasn't fair, but it was creative, and you're drawing from the past, so that. Eloy, what are your what is your position on fanny packs? At this stage, and when I was younger, I thought it was the 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 dumbest thing. I'm, I'm saying 2019, as of right now, fanny pack, yay or nay? Now that I'm older, um, gear up, man. That's, that's, gear up. That's that's Eloy saying fanny pack. Yes, look, it's once you get to be like a big guy, it's hard to get your hands in your pockets. 
So having that big external pocket that you can kind of throw up to the side off your gut, it's got to be good. If you sit and you put a cup on your gut for long enough, it'll leave a mark and you can actually balance it. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> how do you know that? I've seen it on TV. That's his next YouTube release. How to balance a cup on your badass gut. Oh, you said gut. I thought you said nut. <laughs> what? Dude, yeah, he, does, he, does, he does that, but only behind the paywall on Patreon. Like you, you got to be a Patreon supporter to see the nut video. <laughs> Put your name on the cup. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, yeah, we have Chad laser the name on. Actually, you could sell them. Like chowder. You could sell them. You could purchase a bunch of mugs, have Chad laser them, and then as a last little thing, uh, exclusive mug collection touched by Eloy's nuts, and then you just stamp each cup <laughs> as you go and you package it. You think that's going to be a hot seller for Christmas this year? <laughs> Everybody gets a... Just in time for Easter. <laughs> oh, man. Yours is uh, Eloy teabagged. Oh, yeah. We call it E.T.'s. <laughs> that was good. Test um, And some nuts. people, depending on the price, you could get teabagged on the rim at the base. It just it depends. You can have a selection where you order it. Would you like teabag rim of the cup base? Maybe Chad could leave some hair when he on there when he powder coats it. Here we go again. You could drop your nuts into ink and then ink stamp them. And oh, did you know that like each... a, a ball signature? <laughs> <laughs> did you know that each ball sack has its own fingerprint? You I need say a signature. I'm going to need to have a second form of ID, sir. Uh, here's my signature and signature. Thank you. Thank- oh, nice signature, sir. Well done. I'm going to I'm gonna tr- trademark that word right now. Hashtag <laughs> signature. <laughs> Why would it be signature when it's fingerprints? Why wouldn't it be sack prints or nut prints? No, because you, it's your signature. <laughs> if you would put your signature and then it's your signature. <laughs> your signature right here, sir. You just dip them in the oil the <laughs> ink pad <laughs> well back in the day they would say oh you can't write no well we'll take your sacature thank so you mo- so yeah, modern- no, it, it's more like a, one of them ink plates like you you get the roller and you set the yeah. ink and you sit on that and then you sit on the other thing they don't apply the ink to your so sack. so in modern days you either slide your card or insert your card for the chip or you slap your nuts on the screen for scan no, there's an app you swipe your nuts across them <laughs> Oh, you know, I was thinking well, last about- time I did it at the the checkout. Ch- my change came out of my sack holder. Yeah, confused. did you did you ever see when people are sitting on their cell phone? That's what they're doing. They're making you, an online purchase. You know <laughs> what? That's perfect. You could put like a little a miniature fanny pack around the nuts, and 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 you're complete. It's like a whole get up and go, freaking um, setup. Sorry, that was kind of far out there. In a box all the time, huh? In a box. Yeah, what I, I would, like to do is I like to have a fanny pack that I cut a hole in and I wear it and I keep my junk in there. What? Yeah. You got your dick in a box. <laughs> well, I was thinking like at the gas station at the pump, you know, the scanner thing, like a little tray that pops out. Oh, it'd be so gross though. It, it would be like them old credit card machines back in the day when they were like uh remember when they were analog, those old analog ones that they would Put the credit card in, and they go. Carbon paper. You have to put your nuts on there, and they run the thing. Oh. Yeah, it, would be, it would be transfer paper. It has something to do with the carbon copy. The malls would be. You'd you'd be walking down the, in through the mall, and you'd hear inside the stores a lot of screaming. Oh, chick, chick. oh. probably help you stay out of debt. Yeah, if you have to pay <laughs> something. <laughs> Think about it, hey, man, Mick. I don't know, man. 21% and a kick in the balls. Ah, I think I'm just going to... No, this yeah. truck's still good. Still, still got life in her. I think... I, I, you know what? I don't think I need that t-shirt. You know how many cars would be running on fumes? What What about, like, a payment plan? Can I get, like, just a quarter of a swipe and do another quarter later? <laughs> one ball. Sackature. <laughs> Probably explains why one ball's bigger than the other these days. That's so you can make change. That's convenience. What about credit? What if someone needs to borrow my my signature? (laughs) That explains interest. 
interest rates. <laughs> if, I, if I'm going to take a hit in the balls, you're paying me 20% interest. Uh, there's, no one really, there's, there's no one really interested in our balls, I'm sure. So. <laughs> you might be surprised. I don't want to beat the people that are. I'm sure there's dark corners of the internet where we can make a lot of money, but oof. So now, now we're talking about trading cards. <laughs> you know what, though? You to be be like garbage pails kids. Garbage but pails. Ooh, I still have some of them. A lot of them, actually. Oh, which ones you got? A lot. I don't have them here with me, so I can't just pull it out of my butt. I know, but like the ones that come to mind. I don't... I. It's been multiple decades, sir. It's been almost 30 years since I've looked at those. Hot Carl? <laughs> that wasn't one of them. Hot Carl? I was knee deep in the garbage bag. <laughs> yeah, you, should, you should totally look that up for it. <laughs> yeah, look that up. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and type that into the gargler. I'm an idiot, but not a goddamn idiot. <laughs> oh, wow. Carl is hot. <laughs> he is. Right next to the oh. Cleveland Steamer. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> oh, he, we should, he totally looked that up. <laughs> you know what? We should do that one night. We should uh, play Wikipedia roulette. And, like, you, you have to look something up and, like, make someone oh. look it up on their computer and be like, oh, oh, no. I'm going to need a burner laptop for that shit. Yeah. We'll just have, you know what we'll do? We'll have one guy on the burner laptop. I'm not doing that on my good rig. Well, that's fine, but if we did the burner, if we had the burner set up, we could watch it through the shared. <laughs> you know I mean? If we had like another one, if you set up the burner to just have that and signed into the hangout, then we could watch it on a shared screen. Sorry, this is a uh, housekeeping. Front of the house. Did you guys um have you guys ever seen the movie um boy, what's it called? The something ling, the uh, strange ling, the the wild ling. Have you guys seen the Wildling, or or maybe just Wildling? No. It is. It it is such a great movie. Um, will will you ever see it? Because I can I can give you the I think it's fantastic. If you Wild, know, Wilding. No, Wildling. Wildling. Ling. I will never watch that. Okay, so I can tell you the whole synopsis um i'm gonna call spoilers for the wildlings <clears throat> yeah go ahead well let's see if bales will see it if not i'll just give a little quick and rory oh go ahead i'm waiting on bales what are we doing are you ever gonna see the movie wildling it's uh, fantastic and well worth the watch in my thinking just do Take it, your... man. Give it All to right. us, Eli. Do Pull it. my hair. Do Live my neck. Liv Tyler, Brad Dorf. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Um, Bales. Sure. Are you going to see it? Okay. So now he's not going to talk about it. Yeah, so we can. That, that, that took five minutes of the podcast. Right? <laughs> it looks no, horrible. Okay. What? It looks horrible. Well, so then you're not going to watch it, right? Nope. Good. Okay, but you're going to be missing out because it's really a well-written oh, and, and, and directed. What is movie. the right answer here? The answer, <laughs> it's like dating the cheerleader in high school. <laughs> Frick. Um. So this the movie <laughs> the movie is a guy, a, a father and a daughter, and he has his daughter locked up. She's very very little in a cell. Why is she locked up? Well, she's locked up in a cell in, Why? in the basement. And, so is that like time out? And well, no, she's locked up in the basement, and she she's very little, and he treats her nice. Like there's no, you know, like physical or whatever. But he says you can't go out, and a lot of the movies she's growing up in there and this and that, and you're like, well, the guy's an evil guy, but yet he's being kind, and he's saying that outside. There are creatures that eat babies called wildlings, and that she's the last one, and she needs to be protected. Oh, and, I think I have seen this. <clears throat> okay, I gotta say this. Can I? Can I say it has a a good ending? 
Oh, the whole got, movie is spoiler big. called here. You can. This is a wildling spoiler cast. All right, so she escapes with a with a kid, right? Nope, this is not the one. So what uh, happens? I'll tell you the whole thing then. Screw it, because you guys are like it's going to be useless to even try to. Um, you won't allow. So I'm just going to say the whole thing. Um, he at one point she starts having menstrual cycles because she's getting older. He's been kind with her the whole time and he starts injecting her and you see her getting like really ill and ill. And at one point he comes up to her to inject her again. And this is throughout a quarter, uh, a quarter of the movie. It's really good the way they set it up. And she says, um, just kill me. But she doesn't use that word. Um, she uses their, their their father and daughter type of language. It's really, really freaking um, in, intense. And when he hears that, he takes a gun and shoots himself. She ends up running through the woods. She gets discovered. And a family takes her in with Liv Tyler. Um, and she's a cop. And she's integrated into society and stuff little by little. But what ends up happening is that she starts dropping her teeth. Her fingernails start growing. She is a wildling. It ends up that she was the last of her little tribe where they used to hunt these people down in this rural place somewhere in America. And um, they were like wolf-like or animal-like creatures. And it just evolves into this incredible but you have no inkling that that's where it's going you just think she's a a, a, a girl that's been abused yeah she has true. a baby she has a little mutt werewolf mutt yep she yep. goes to like the northern lights mm-hmm. yeah i saw and, it and then she has a marmot it's an intense and well-written and well-directed film it's one of those really well set up films so, Eli, do you think werewolves do it doggy style? They're half human, half half werewolf. So I would say that they do it doggy style when they're werewolves and human style when they're human. Well, what if one is, is not a werewolf? What if it's a human and a werewolf? Well, the human is screwed. Just I asking for a friend. Yeah, I don't know what kind of um, scenario would put you in that situation, but it doesn't sound good. But, yeah, that's a good movie. Well, you know, if I got 30 minutes to live. What did you guys talk about before? Mostly about you. Oh, great. <laughs> we said nice things. We said some not nice things. We laughed, we cried. Well, you can't please everyone now, can you? Mostly nope. laughed. Yeah. We talked about Polly Shore's podcast. I never liked him back in the day as far as movies and whatnot. His movies were great. Seminal pieces. Time. I agree. Encino Man, Encino Man, Son in Law, great, great Dark Dome, not so much. I think, I think Son in Law, I think Son in Law is my favorite. I might, I might have to agree. It's just, I just, I just love, I just love this. Watch this, uh, Middle America. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny. I just every time I laugh hard. I think we milk this cow out. Yeah, we're 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 good here. <laughs> this one's gonna take some work. <laughs> 